Hi everybody and welcome to Stackstorm Tutorials. This tutorial is on actions. To start off, I'm going to list all of the actions in the tutorials pack. The first action we're going to look at today is the echo action. To take a look at that, I execute st2 action get tutorials dot echo. This tells me some interesting information about the echo action. It belongs to the tutorials pack, there is a short description of it, it uses the local shell command runner, and it takes a message parameter. The message parameter is the most important part of this. This required option indicates to me that I have to pass it into the action itself and it has to be a string. The description of it is simply the message that the echo command will actually echo. The local shell command runner will simply run the echo command on the Stackstorm server itself. If you don't know what an action runner is yet, don't worry, we'll cover that in a future tutorial. For now, just know that it tells Stackstorm what type of action it is. In order to run this, all I have to do is use the st2 command to run it. Here, Stackstorm ran the command on the Stackstorm server itself. The parameters that I passed in were hello world, and the result is that it succeeded, and the standard out of that command was hello world. The next action I want to talk about is the check bash version action, so we'll take a look at that. This action is slightly more complex than the last echo action. It uses the local shell script runner. That runner accepts an entry point parameter, and for this runner, it's just the name of the shell script that we want to run. The shell script takes two Boolean flags, major and minor. We can pass those in and we'll run it with the major and minor flags. As you can see from the standard out, it printed 4.3. That means the Stackstorm server is running bash 4.3, but we don't necessarily have to pass in either parameter. Let's see what happens when we don't. In this case, when you don't pass in any flags, the script prints out the entire version string. There are two other similar actions that we can take a look at. The first one is the check Python version action. This action is very similar to the check bash version action, except with this one, the entry point is different. Instead of being a bash script, it calls a Python script. But notice the parameters are very similar. It takes a minor and major parameter, and both are booleans. To call this action, it would be very similar to the last one. And again, when I don't pass in the major or minor parameters, it gives me the full version string of the installed version of Python. Similar to the check bash version action, I can pass in the major and minor flags to the action. I can also just pass in one of the flags. The other action we can take a look at is the check node version action. This, again, is very similar, but instead it runs a node script, and this node script accepts the same parameters, major and minor. That gives us the full node version. 
And with that, we can also pass one or both of the major and minor flags. Now at this point, you're probably asking, how are actions defined? Let's take a look. I'm currently in the tutorials pack, and all of the actions we just ran are right here. Let's dig into them. This action, the check bash version action, is defined in this YAML file. It specifies the runner, and it specifies the entry point to use. It also specifies all of the parameters, and the check Python version action is going to be very similar. Here we see it's using the same runner, but its entry point is different, exactly like what we saw before. And the check node version action is going to be this exact same as well. Another way to run actions is to use the web interface. Once it's loaded in your web browser, you can go to the Actions tab and go to the Tutorials pack. There we see all of the actions available to us, and one of them is the Check Python Version action. This is a list of all of the options that can be passed to the action. You'll notice the Boolean major and minor flags that we saw in the action metadata file. If we wanted to get the major and minor versions of Python installed on the Stackstorm host, we would select both of those and click Run. Stackstorm schedules the actions to run, so once we go into execution history, we can see here that the check Python version task has run and it has output 